Hey there my friends, John here of course, and I've got a surprise in store for you guys today. We've actually got a special guest who's going to be sharing some awesome tips with us. So without further ado, let's see what he's got. Hi there guys, I'm Chris and this is a trash bag. It's amazing just how many uses this 55 gallon trash bag has and I'm here today to share with you 10 of our favorites. Whether it's helping you stay more comfortable at camp or maybe even helping you in a wilderness survival scenario, this trash bag can be invaluable to carry with you. So let's take a look at a few of its outdoor uses. First, let's take a look at how you can use a garbage bag to get your clothes clean when you're out on a long outdoor trip. Just pound a couple sticks into the ground, roll the edge of the bag over the sticks, fill the bag with water, and wash your clothes in the basin you just created. Add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water for maximum cleaning effect. Baking soda will be kind to the environment, while also being hard on any odors your clothes may have. Just be sure to empty the dirty water far away from any water sources once you're finished. Now guys, if you took the time to make those clothes smell better, you're not going to want to jump right back in them without tidying up a bit yourself. So check out how to make this easy, inexpensive DIY camp shower. Begin by putting a small rock in the corner of the bag. Tie some cord around the rock and secure it with a knot. A simple overhand knot should work fine. Next, fill the garbage bag with a couple gallons of water. Keep in mind that water is heavy, so take care not to overdo it. After you've filled the bag, tie several overhand knots to seal the bag off. Next, tie cord around the base of the knot so you can hang the bag of water from a tree. Let the water warm up in the sun and poke a few holes in the bag to create your very own camp shower. Now, maybe you didn't think you needed a rain jacket until it was too late, or maybe the waterproofing on that jacket isn't what it used to be, but no matter what the case, you can use a garbage bag as a poncho if the rain is coming down hard. Now, go ahead and tear a hole in one of the corners just like this. Um, I put it in the corner so I can use part of the garbage bag as a hood. But once you've done that, go ahead and squeeze the bottom of the garbage bag up to the hole just like that so you can easily throw it over your head and then pull it down over your body. Now, uh, it might slide off your head through all that. That's no problem. Just go ahead, throw it back up like that and you have a poncho that's gonna keep you nice and dry no matter how hard the rain is coming down. Now when the weather starts to come in, go ahead and throw a garbage bag over your backpack to act as an inexpensive pack cover. Just remember to tear a couple holes so the shoulder straps can come through. Do the same with the hip belt, and then you'll be all set. Now you can hit the trails worry-free because everything inside is gonna stay nice and dry. Next, you can lay a garbage bag down on the ground to act as a footprint for your tent. This will not only lengthen the life of the floor of your tent, but it will also keep your tent cleaner over time. If you find that you're about to lose a section of trail while out hiking, you can use a garbage bag to make it easier to find your way back. Just cut a strip of the bag off and tie it around a tree to mark the trail. The section of the bag flapping in the wind will be a strong signal to guide you back home. Just make sure you remove all the markers on your way back. Trash bags can also make a great emergency shelter. There are many different ways to make a shelter, and it's good to practice several that can match the potential scenarios you may face. Your trekking poles, trees, or even nearby rocks can help you make a sound shelter. Perhaps one of the best aspects of carrying trash bags with you is that they're a nice substitute for some of the traditional tent essentials that can be quite heavy. For example, a tent is usually several pounds but a trash bag is a couple ounces and it can be easy to throw in your pack when you're on a quick day hike when you don't want to be weighed down. You can even use a garbage bag as a sleeping pad to insulate you from the ground. Fill the bag with leaves, grass, or any other material you can find that will provide some protection from the cold wet surface. And lastly, nothing beats crawling into a warm dry sleeping bag at the end of a hard day. So you'll want to make sure that it does indeed stay dry by taking it and placing it in the bottom of a garbage bag. Once it's down there at the very bottom, squeeze the excess air out, twist it a couple of times, stuff it in your pack, and you're all set. Wow, now who would have thought that there'd be that many awesome uses for an ordinary garbage bag, right? That was just incredibly cool, man. I know that I'll definitely be putting several of those to good use. And I have got to give a huge thanks to Chris over at Sierra Training Post for taking the time to put that all together and share it with us all. Just absolutely epic, man. And guys, if you like this video, you're definitely going to want to follow the link up here over to their channel and see what else they got going on. They've got a wealth of killer tips, 
tricks, how-to videos, just all around awesome content over there. Not to mention that they are a great part of the YouTube community here. They do a lot to give back and they're very interactive. Like I said, just a great part of the community. So while you're over there, you may want to take a second to hit the old subscribe button. I know you certainly won't regret it and they will very much appreciate it. I guarantee you that. So that's about all we got for this one, guys. I'd just like to say in closing, thank you very much for all your support. It is truly appreciated. And until next time, take the best care, and we'll be seeing you soon.